Hello everybody, this is Fuse Stopper, and welcome back to more Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows. And this time, let's just get started off, and let's get volatile in Treasure Knight's Iron Whale. Couldn't remember the name there for a sec. But, furthering into the waters, you'll actually kind of see what I was saying, well, what I've been saying a lot, about how like Plague Knight's movability makes him just a lot better in these types of missions. Because he can just, a lot of the platforming challenges here, that like prevent Shovel Knight from getting up here, for example, just do not exist for Plague Knight. Like, oh, I thought that was a secret there. Like, you could just skip so many areas that Shovel Knight would have to like train his whole life to get. Like this fish. Never mind, that wasn't a fish. That's what we call a hashtag gamer depression moment. Except a health potion that I couldn't even pick up. Yeah, I, I feel like this is one of the levels that like truly exemplifies the matter that these levels were not made for Plague Knight. They were made for Shovel Knight and just given a broken character to put through them. I say broken as if this is like super easy now, but I've died a billion times, so yeah, not really that easy if I keep dying. So let's not miss that coin there. Hopefully I don't actually miss any as we progress because as I've stated in the previous video, I don't know which one, so watch them all. But I will be going after all the Cypher coins if I miss any. Just that'll be a future video later on if I... Well, not if I feel like it. I will do it, just... I don't know when it's going to come out. Don't get your hopes on it soon. So I still got other bonus videos like I gotta do. Like, like I'm going to do some Shovel Knight ones. Eventually. Yeah, just eventually. There's not much else I could say. But not talking about future videos that don't technically have any date right now. Let's just further on to the secret area that as I've stated before, is completely moot platforming-wise just because Plague Knight can just jump over any platforming problem. Like, see, that's like an actual, like, I'm not gonna say completely tricky, but that was like a somewhat, like, great, more than two brain cells needed to complete in Shovel Knight, but with Plague Knight, you just need to have at least one brain cell. Or if you're in my case, you have no brain cells. Ugh. At least we're not too far. It could have been worse. I, I could have had to cut there. Uh-oh. Okay. Guess there's nothing to fear. Yeah, at least we're getting all our gold back. Like, it, it could have been a whole lot worse there. We could have had to lose all our gold, or we could have just been donezos. Also, one thing, like, I've already mentioned, like, just how, like, broken, like, Plague Knight is for this, but, like, because you descend so slow in the water, you could easily, like, every time, recharge your... What am I trying to say? Recharge your bomb burst, like, really easily, and especially if you have the... You know, let's do the float bomb burst for this level. Like... Like, you'll have no issues as I proceed to jump into spikes. Okay, so switching away from the float burst, because found out the hard way you can't chain those. That's a not-so-bueno moment there. Oh well, oh well. We, we got the secret area. We're not using the float burst anymore because you can't chain them, and I like chaining them occasionally. I just realized how the hell are we going to get back here, but actually wait, it's not that hard. I mean, we are playing Plague Knight. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Shovel Knight can't do that. It's like I'm not playing Shovel Knight, and I'm playing a whole new character. Should maybe stop constantly comparing him to Shovel Knight, despite the fact that all the levels are the same. Salty, not salty, but um... Yeah, at least, at least like the moveset mixes them up a bit. I've said this a billion times before, and I really should find something else to say. 
But it's hard not to come up with comparisons between the two, because their campaigns are the same. And this water level is extremely, extremely easier with Plague Knight. Despite the fact I jump in the spikes I wouldn't have with Shovel Knight. Gee, I wonder what this is going to be. Wow. A mini boss. I've never seen this before. That's crazy. If I haven't said it enough, watch Shovel of Hope or none of this will make sense. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that was kind of close. Like, I was gonna say this boss is easier, but I'm gonna die! Oh no, where's that one Arcana I said was useless? Let's get some health from this guy. I mean, if we're gonna be like close to dying. We'd... So, okay, I said this uh, Arcana was, I said most Arcana in this was useless, but like that Leech Life one is actually not that bad. And we get the Throwing Anchor, another useless relic. <laughs> I mean, if we're judging off what I was saying last time, I think the Throwing Anchor is useless. Until it turns out to be the most busted ass item in the game. But that's that's neither here nor there. Actually, it is there. In the Shuffle Knight playthrough. Okay, let's let's stop talking about Shuffle Knight. I know I said that for like the billionth time this episode, but... Let's just further on with Plague Knight with our little dancing fairy friend of fortune. And get some fishing done. I mean, we are in the ocean. Where else would you fish? Oh, he teleports! You can tell how much I've used these little fairies. Because I, I do. there's so many animations that I haven't seen of them, and they're all adorable. Like, especially the one where, like, he goes into the vat in the lab. That one is just so freaking cute. I mean, he's probably getting horribly disfigured in there. And, like, that's somewhere he shouldn't be, but it's cute until he has irreversible trauma. But it's adorable in the time being. Ha ha ha. Cute at others' expense. I'm just kidding. Do not harm other people just so you can get, like, a little cute view of them. That is not worth it to you and the person you're harming. But away from the dark subject matter, we got a brand new secret area for... Plague Knight. I almost said, like, Spectre Knight. That's not the right knight. He kicked his ass in the Lich Yard. Yeah, so it was some tight... Well, or not so tight platforming. Doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is. And refilling our health tonic, we get more Cypher Coins. A lot more Cypher Coins, actually. Like, to be honest, if they didn't have these secret areas, there'd probably only be like 15 Cypher Coins a level, because like, there's no way they could hide 30 goddamn Cypher Coins in the level if they're putting so many in these secret areas. Like, I swear, you're kidding me. Okay, so let's... Oh my goodness. Let's get out of there before that... Let's take out this guy, actually. I don't... I don't trust him staying alive. Oh no! No, no! I should have trusted my instincts. No! Okay, back to where we were with this dick. Yeah, don't think I forgot about you. Yeah, get out of here. Go fall off a ledge. Oh my goodness, I... It's ridiculous how much I died there. Well, I didn't die much, but I died more than I wanted to. Okay. And because we didn't find him at the mini boss, we have Chester. And we'll turn in a relic for a vat. This is actually what we need for that bonus level I wanted to show earlier. So maybe we'll do that today or not. Doesn't matter. So let's just get in the elevator. Thank you. Now. I don't know how much of a use for that vat, other than that bonus level. Wrong thing. Basically, it's like a platform. 
you've seen it during Plague Knight's boss, you you can see it here. It's it's all just a platformer. No, it's a it's a platform. I this is a platformer while I'm playing right now. I mean Magic. Magic jar vat of mysterious chemical substance, the platformer adventure extraordinaire. I mean, I'd I'd play it. Yak Club, hit me up if you want if you want the rights to that. I, I demand, um, I demand 50% of all profits if you go through with the idea, though. Okay, now that I've made that huge demand. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I get Yacht Club. I shouldn't be threatening you. I mean, I am playing your game right now. No! Yacht Club, please. I'm sorry. Stop punishing me. Okay, so enough making fun of the developers and making unreasonable demands. I mean, that was my idea. Just saying, Yacht Club. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do not, do not, don't kill me again, please. Please! Oh, I didn't know the anchors could kill the mermaids. Or, I think they're just witches, but I like to call them mermaids, because... You know, mermaids are just water witches. I think I've said that same thing in my last playthrough. Oh, crap. Okay, so not using your potions to balance there puts you into a really difficult room because, yeah, as you can notice, I can't really kill. Oh, I should probably use my health tonics. No, I want to see if the lob casing can get through there. No. Okay, we're just gonna sneak past here, grab the treasure. I want that treasure! Oh, I should get out of here before I end up killing myself. Maybe don't go for tre treasure, kids, if you're gonna kill yourself. Get down here! Get down, Mr. President! Oh, I'm kidding. Plague Knight isn't a president. Oh, I need that turkey. You dick of a hermit crab. Wait, hermit crabs? What if hermit crabs been dicks? I actually really like hermit crabs, but like they can be kind of creepy. So like I understand if you don't like hermit crabs, but like... I do remember being pinched by one, and it hurt. It was not fun. Because we, we had these like hermit crabs for in um... I think like fourth grade as class pets. Yeah, that alchemy coin is a little difficult, but like to be honest, we don't need our platform. Continuing on about the hermit crabs though, they had like a bunch of different shells, we watched them grow. Oh, they were they were really cute, except for when they decided to pinch you, which they like to do a lot. I would always grab them by their shells because I got terrified after I was pinched once. What's the matter, Plague Knight? Alchemy business slowing down? Here to make some coin? Or are you to order's coffers running and dry? Can't you just synthesize all the fool's gold you want? Good guess, but no, it's something far more important than mere gold. <laughs> more important than gold? Now you're just being ridiculous. Get out of here, you bottom feeder. Ooh, your essence is showing. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if I help myself. Yep, so because we said gold was not the best reward, treasure knights against us. Let's attack him with fishes! His first biggest weakness, fish bombs. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's pretty much the same fight as before. Just now we got broken bombs and he goes down way easier. Some things are just more important than money, Treasure Knight. As we proceed to get 2,500 gold. That's not the point though. You look like you lost a fight with a pond. Ocean, actually. Had to go liberate the essence of Avarice. Nice place he's got down there. I never understood what he saw in gold. You can just make it from sawdust and mouse skulls. Some people do things the hard way. <laughs> Let's do some work. So, what are we working on? Let's see if we have enough tokens for research. Well, looks like we don't. I thought we would. 
But we might as well buy some more upgrades. Probably won't use them in the near future or even at all, really, because I made it pretty clear I don't like the upgrades. They're useless. Or not useless, but not as useful. Let's talk about the Percy while we're here. Blah, blah, blah. How does this musk melon have any luck with romance? Yeah, so we're just gonna let him be with his terrible dating advice. Now, my real... Okay, I did not mean to go right back into the level. But we do have this bottomless quarry we can attempt. Because we got... The platform. Okay, maybe not like that. How about we do this instead? Wow, that's so much smarter. How, how come I've never thought of something like that? Wow! Wow! Using the main mechanic- Uh-oh. That almost ended in tragedy. Good thing- I mean, I guess I- Oh, I was so close to just literally losing my life there. I guess this level isn't necessarily too hard. It's just very nerve-wracking. Like, one mistake and you're done. You're done! Because, like, as you can see, I can't just spawn an infinite amount of these. These use, like, a crap ton of magic. To the point where it's like, if I miss one of these magic jars, I'm done. That, my life is just forfeit. Actually, how many coins are- wrong tab. How many coins are in this bonus area? Yeah, only 20. But we do also get a ton of treasure. And you can't play with 20 more coins. So yeah, nice, short, easy level. And while we're here, and it just appeared, we'll do the Iron Whale. I believe this is the same thing as like when the Shovel Knight had the version of it. Just now you get a better character. Sorry, not sorry. I think playing nice better. Oh, but he's so hard to control! Okay, we'll grow a pair, get good at the game. Okay, that was mean. That was that was unreasonably mean. But it's true. Plague Knight's not that hard. You just need to get good, scrub. <laughs> I say that as if I'm the best Plague Knight in the world. I'm really not. I mean, speedrunners, man. That speedrunners literally could make me look like the worst game player in the world. And I like to think I'm better than uh, some people. I I'm not going to say I'm like even better than majority. I'm probably like in the bottom 5%, but... I say, that will wrap it up for this time. And next time, we tackle the Lost City and take out Mold Knight. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good one.